a building right next to me on the right here that I haven't got on either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't fall off. Yeah, a lot of the, lot of the maps in World of Tanks just... They're like all just far too close range fights. There's so little opportunity for long range and stealth anymore unless you get maybe Muravanka, Prokhorovka, um, Malinovka. But a lot of them, you just you, you just drive up to choke points in a corridor and blat each other in the face. And tanks that rely on being stealthy and sneaky in long range kind of get stiffed over a little bit with that. That's, that's my experience anyway. It's fine if you're playing mediums and heavies. Discovered the bats. Excellent. I thought that was around here. So, south. That's north. Hang on. Right. So, we'll go through there. Turn right. You did stealth damage on C3 line in the city in your T30. No clue how. That is quite an achievement. Right. That should be flashing up and telling me what it is. Ah, right. Butcher. We've got that on now. And we need to go find out what that is. So let's try and get onto the main street again. By vaulting out the back door. No, that's not going to work, is it? You guess they left Chandlers out in the game. Like, um, oh, when I played Legends of Valor back in the Amiga, they had ship's Chandlers, which were just like... Uh, well, they, they sold all the stuff that you'd need for shipping. Tar and rope and wood and all sorts of things. They were just like general traders and merchants, but it was quite a nice little touch, I thought. Right, head on south past the cabbages and stuff. Hope that guard doesn't get any ideas about questioning me. Okay, I can see it on the map now. I'm approaching a pillory. Okay, that wasn't what I was looking for, but... And some sort of church here. I think I have to speak to it. Ah, I do have to speak to the guy in here. And his door's open, so let's go wandering in. Hey, Matthew and Tan. Uh, definitely not too late. Not for the stream, anyway. Not unless the lightning outside suddenly gets any ideas about uh, cutting me off. What the hell was that? Well, if he comes out, I'll talk to him out here. That... Is that the priest? Well, you left your door open, mate. What do you want? Lanky. You've no business here. Come on, talk to me out here, then. Come on, come on. No, you want to. Good man. Is there something you need? Yes. Pickpocket. Oh, I probably maybe have a quest to pickpocket the damn bloke. Let's have a quick look. So, I still haven't found out what this building is, though. Hmm. Is there a side up somewhere? Whoops. Guards are looking around. I've discovered the scribe. Everyone leaves the door open on a night. I better not go in. I will get into trouble for going in. Um, and we need to go and see what that is down south as well. I think I might as well get all this explored in the dark. And then I'm ready for whatever comes at daylight. Hey, Matt Topa, you dri passed your driving test and started driving. You really like it so far. Congratulations. How does it feel to be uh, to be mobile and independent? Where I live around here, you, you basically have to be able to drive or you'll never get anywhere because the bus services are a joke. Like, uh, like there might be a bus to a particular town half nine on Monday morning and it won't come back till Friday afternoon. Whole load of use that is. Right, follow this road along. I don't think I want to break into the church, but I'm pretty sure I have to go and speak to the priest here. Try the WZ120 Chinese TD for the missions. Is WZ120, is that Chinese TD? Oh, there's the premium one. Uh, that would be pretty good, actually. Forgot I had that. I was trying to... Oh, cobbler. Cool. I was trying to do... Um, I was trying to play a tank that I wanted a good game in so I could do a review of it. But um, no, I didn't really get didn't really get very far with it all. Right, there's an armor smith and there's a weapon smith up here. Are they right at the top? Okay. There's a quest giver in the tavern. Let's 
get the horse back. What I'll do is I think I'll just go and wait. Maybe, maybe not in town. In case a guard comes along and says, Yeah, what are you doing? Let's just get out of town a bit then. Or maybe out the other side. Swedish TD is super stealthy. There's lots of vehicles that are stealthy enough. It's getting the map that allows you to be stealthy, that allows you to stay at range, and it's getting the teams, both yours and the enemies, so the games aren't over in three minutes flat. That's the challenge. I had some good games. I had a... Oh, I found a beehive. Excellent. Um, I had some... Is that a river down there? Yeah, it is. Oh, it was. The perils of going charging about at night. Well, I can't find anywhere to sleep, damn it. Go and curl up under one of these bushes. This looks like a military camp or something, doesn't it? Yeah, it's about, it's about getting the right map and the right team so the games aren't over just instantly. And, um, yeah, just getting the right set of circumstances. Of course, when you're the last one left on the team, it's, again, it gets harder and harder to be stealthy about it. Right, let's just get off the horse here. This is a weapon smith. Cool, I'm going to stand in here. Out of the way. Oh, I can pick that lock. I will do then. Oh, there we go. So nobody comes out that door while I'm doing this. Dog's a bit busy. Lockpicks. I'll take them. Might need them sometime. Right, let's just wait here. I only need to wait. Well, let's go an hour. I just need daylight, and then I can start sharpening all my swords and stuff. And by the time I've done that, then the shop should be open. Were the tents a bathhouse? There was a bathhouse down there. But even the bathhouse you can't go into after midnight. Because you get into trouble. Hello? Shop guard pickpocket. I'm not going to pickpocket him. I'm not on private land or anything here. So, let's put the torch away. And let's get sharpening some swords. In fact, let's get the whole lot off the horse. All the weapons. Can't sharpen a bludgeon. Oh, they're already sharpened. They must have done all them. Right. Uh, let's have another go at the axe. Now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, it's still a bit dark, isn't it? <laughs> right. But I can see that blade a lot better, actually. Bottom edge of it's not sharpening up very... There we go. That looks a bit better. I tended to keep one of these. I quite like the fight with an axe. I think it's a pretty cool weapon in this game. Uh, that looks... That looks good. Let's see what that's done. And that did 100%. Cool. Let's get that down. Oh, bit of smoke too sharp an angle if it's smoking. That looks better. Alright, Marth, you live in a capital city and the bus services are pretty bad there too. That is a shame. I think people in London well people in London that don't travel outside of London probably assume that the whole country's got excellent public transport because London has good public transport. A lot of traffic but the tube's good and the bus services are, are pretty good and there's loads of them. But you get uh, out into the countryside, and uh, like some villages don't even have a bus service anymore at all. Nothing. In fact, there's some places in Scotland that used to rely on the post office um, as doing your service by bringing your groceries or dropping you off at the shops and stuff. I don't think they do that anymore. I think that's all been stopped. But this is so much easier in daylight. Just wish that dog would shut the hell up. No smoke. 
We don't want the smoke. Big Duck, put a replay on my site. Maybe you take a look and explain what happened. We had them pinned six versus three and we lost. Just another day in World of Tanks. Hey, new level in maintenance and a perk point available. Let's just see what that is. Uh, maintenance, here we go. Level 12. Seven mile boots, or at serrated edge, which was what? A weapon you shout on yourself has a 15% greater chance of causing bleeding. Fragrance. With freshly laundered clothes, you have extra charisma. Savile Row. Every item clothing you're wearing that you've repaired adds extra charisma. Doesn't apply to armor. The tin opener. Um, a weapon you sharpen yourself will cause 15% greater damage to your opponent's armor and equipment. The blacksmith's son. Weapons you repair with a repair kit have a stronger attack until they get too damaged. And well groomed. The attire you have on will suffer 15% less wear and tear. I'm having that. That is just nice. They're all just nice, actually. These are nice. These are well worth getting perks in. And I'm sure these values must be going up. So I'm just going to polish off this knight's hunting sword. You only have to walk a mile to get to a bus stop. <laughs> hey, if you go to Tank Fest, I think they put buses on for Tank Fest, but... Um, I think the bus service down there is pretty bad, and the railway station is about two or three miles away. So there's a lot of people travel from the airport and get the train, thinking, oh, great, we'll get the train straight to Bobbin and Camp, and uh, no, nope, it's a long way away. Why isn't this sharpening, eh? Is it just a crap sword? That's smoking, that's no good. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't need any more. Maybe I've gone backwards on this one, who knows? Nope, got it to 100. And I, I will just touch up mine, just to give it a bit of a tidy and get this blood off. This looks terrible. Looks cleaner already, look, doesn't it? Oh, bit of smoke. Gotta be careful with the mouse angle. Nice edge on that one now. 100, 100, 100. That's worth a lot of money as well. Okay, so... No one seems to be too bothered by me doing this. Have I got anything else? Armour. I'm running out of kits. Blacksmith's kits. Don't need to do those. Cobbler's kits. Do me noble shoes. Can't repair the other stuff. Small armorous kits. Um, can I actually do that? Yeah. Excellent. I just need the shop to open up now. Shall I just wait another hour? Honeycomb. Oh, hang on. There's a quest giver down at the butchers. I'll go and see that guy. Sharpen the can opener for Frey Bentos tins. I used to love Frey Bentos pies. They are, they are pretty grim things, but they were like sort of satisfying comfort food. So where's this butcher at? This is a longer walk than I thought, considering I'm over encumbered. Well, the rain stopped and the thunder stopped outside, so that's good news. For now, anyway. Oh, get some more nettles. There is a perk you get for free, I think. There we go. Oh, that no, wasn't that. Um, if you pick enough nettles, you get some sort of perk which increases your vitality because you just got so used to being stung by everything. But yeah, it is worth picking everything up. General Trader. I've gone way round the butcher's shop. What's this guy doing? Are you trying to get in there? 
I am at your service, Sir Knight. I'm looking for the workshop of Master Engraver. It's in the monastery courtyard. You'll find him there. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, I'll have to head that way then. I should use the Chinese Premium TD for the uh, TD missions. I might start playing that, but I did a video on that and I've reviewed it, so I thought when I do the missions, it's a good opportunity to try and do or try and get some gameplay in a tank that I haven't reviewed yet or for a long time. It's just it's a good opportunity to get that stuff. The ale house made, right. The innkeeper. Are we open here? Do you have a room? No. Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, depends what you're willing to do. Of course, it's your own Pretty much everything. The most help. There's some of them at the monastery. I talked to your hanker a few times. She's working her fingers to the bone taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who'd lighten her load. And there's another thing. And another thing. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. We dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. It was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels for dust. All the way to Ledechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. That's all I can think of. So what do you want me to do with him? Uh, what can I actually sell this this fella? Oh, pork cracklings are going off. I'm going to sell them before they do go off fully. Uh, hey, Derping Pleb, you love games like these. A work of love from a small company. How just a passion for something can improve it so much more. Great to see the golden side of gaming besides all the salt and drama in larger games. I know exactly what you mean. For a, for a, well, it was a Kickstarter-backed project, this game has turned out so, so good. Um, yeah. One of the better things to come out of Kickstarter without a doubt. Can I sell them anything else? No. Just close the deal. I'm not even going to haggle for that. Not even going to haggle for it. Well, I got the quest giver anyway. Right, that weaponsmith should be about open then. Oh, there's another quest giver down there to the south. Where is it? Not showing up on my thing just yet. Have I ever played the tier 5 Arty the Grill? Um, a long time ago. I very rarely play artillery now. And if I do, it's pretty much only for the missions and I'm past the pond ones you can do with the tier 5, so. A charlatan? Ha. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? <laughs> of course. My dream. Oh, here we go. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. Hmm. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. I don't like this. And that's supposed to be me. Oh, well. What's your name, young man? This sounds like the sort of thing Henry. that will upset Henry. the locals. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? What does it entail? What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labour. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their soul. I don't know where this one's going. Nothing to it. That's why God has sent you. So what do you say? I'm on a mission from God. Um... Who are you? First, tell me, who are you, and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or, or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. 
Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. No. No, I'm not doing this. I don't mind stealing from people. I don't mind robbing. But this just so looks like conning innocence. And it's like... He's going to do a runner and leave me to take the heat no, for this. I definitely don't want to so be we're going to avoid this one, I think. But perhaps Providence shall yet or should I? I should I? He's called a charlatan. That's not the sort of person you want to work for. I don't know. I don't know. He's going to be there later, so. Hang on, he's just classed as a quest giver, though, isn't he? What is it? Oh, bollocks to it. In I for a penny, I in for a pound. I've... I've Murdered people in their beds. I've stolen from everyone. Why not? I changed my mind. I'll become your apprentice. What's the game gonna Wonderful. do to me? Oh, glorious <laughs> day! I have a successor in my work. Uh. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh, this is gonna involve stealing. I have my eye on three rare arms. Ah, oh, here we go. Value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Passionate player? Bloody like hell, a dicer? That's a lot. All right. Or an One actress? thing at a time. I don't know. Hey, smashing Kazid up. Yeah, you did catch the stream. You're the mysterious gamer from YouTube. Ah, oh, welcome to the stream. If it's your first time here, glad to uh, glad to see you made it. Uh, okay, where am I going to find these things? About then? that tooth. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? Is the tooth? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic. Of course, that's why I have an alternative solution. Oh, I know I'm what we're going to do. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery. And it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. I see. Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of St. Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sassau, then I'm cheating nobody. Does it really matter whose tooth I bring, then? Of course it does. <laughs> the name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. <laughs> I'm not falling for that for a minute. Okay, let's, we'll go and get How his tooth. How am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. We'll do that then. How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he, he told me at the tavern. But that's not <laughs> important. Uh, okay. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. Don't think these are priority quests, by the way. This topping out, what's that? You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a uh, topping out is a decorated spruce or a, a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Yeah. Oh. Then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. Like he's thinking. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. I don't. Fair enough. Uh, he's not so much of a swindler as he makes out this guy. He actually wants it all, all the real stuff. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition, and the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow. Shoot it down with a bow and arrow? 
Works on nests. Very well. I'll get it. <laughs> okay. And the player's talisman. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that was the best response ever. Oh. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. <sighs> we'll see. We'll kill them all, chat. That's what we'll do. Very well. Every get last one. Beat them to death with a mace. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Okay, let's 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 get out of here. Farewell. Relics for the charlatan. Is that everything picked up from around here? What is that quest I've got on there? Main. It's not a main. Activities side. It looks like that one. The House of God. Talmberg Quarrymass is worried the affair will damage his good name. Go to the monastery and ask about the accident. Okay. I don't need to do that just yet. I need to go and sell all this stuff on me horse and on me bags. Get rid of all the junk and go and get this quest done for Lady Stephanie. That's priority. Well, would I become the dark one? I don't know. I'm being pretty dark in some of the things in this game already. Uh, I swear, though, I accidentally murdered that guy in his sleep. I pressed the wrong button. That's all it was. It was nothing more than that. Was this the weaponsmith? Where the hell have I gone? No, it's not. And that weaponsmith has a quest for me. Come on, Pebbles. To the weaponsmith. Yeah. And it's just in here. Right. Yeah, I saw Jingle's video about glue sniffing Japanese heavy drivers. That's a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of a, a bold and blanket statement, is that? Is this your shop? Nope, that's not his shop. Is this his shop? Nope, that's locked. Where's his damn shop at? Aha! You're not a weaponsmith. Oh, he's there. No, that's a guard. Well, can I trade with you then? Take care. One and a half K. Great. Let's get rid of some junk. Or should we see what they've got to sell first? That might be interesting. Uh, Page's sword, hunting sword. Sorry, I'm on the wrong one. 2k, a ceremonial mace. A metal plated battle axe. They look really nice. Razor. That's a nice sword. Ooh, what is that? A short sword. I've got the agility for it. Stabs, does a lot of damage. That is nice. Ooh, 1.4k. I could buy that. Burnot. A long sword. These are some nice weapons. A bailiff's mace. That's actually better than the thing I've got, isn't it? Nice weapons. I haven't tried much with, uh, with the longsword. I will have to do at some point. But anyway, we're here to sell. And sell everything we can. Uh, but not the mace. Both those axes. A couple of bludgeons, an axe, butcher's blade. I need the dagger. I'm not buying armor. Let's haggle. I get 69 credits. Is that all? Is that all? Okay. I'm going to give her a Let's tip on this. Because well... if I just go like that. This and uh, a little something on top for good measure. Well, now, thank you very much. We get the reputation up and then we get all the crap off the horse. Bludgeons and... Daggers. 
Mercenary's bedfellows. Is that it? Don't need a spare bow. Sell that. Actually, I've got horse hides and sodding dog skins and all sorts. This all needs to... I need to find traders. Everything I can find. Sheep skins, deer hides. Bloody hell, I've got hordes of crap. <clears throat> no wonder I had no space left on the horse. Right. Let's see if we get a better price out of her this time round. Good luck then. Maybe I need to sell to the proper armor smith, I don't know. Uh right, I don't need that. I don't need Actually, yeah, I do want that back. That's a good dagger. You can have the crap one. I don't need that. I get nothing for this, never mind. Haggle. <clears throat> Let's have a word about the price. Well. What about this? I'd almost. Try again. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. Now that's how to haggle. 